<laughs> you know what's crazy? Good dick is always attached to potential, ain't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> he can't read right now, but I'm gonna teach him. I'm gonna hook him on phonics. Du, 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 du. You be like, bless his heart, but his dick is good. <laughs> now, I, can I can teach him. Now, I can change him. I think some people's love language is fixing. No, we are not putting this on love language. No, no, no. Okay, okay, listen. No, we are not it's doing that. It's a figure of speech. The reason why I say that, and I'm but before, before you say that, the reason why I say that is because whenever people use love languages, they use it as an excuse. Ooh. Especially people who get poor treatment or they give poor treatment and they try to assign the love language that they have or the love language that somebody mm. else has. Is, that's an excuse. See, this is why I call her complicated. If I may, if I may, Lizzy, when he said that little portion about, I know he can't read or not like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I can't, I can't put up with that. If you can't read out loud to me or anything like that, that's an automatic no. And that's not being petty. But how long would it take you to find out he can't read? If we sit here, <laughs> today is If we sit here at this here restaurant and this and this fool wanna um order a quesadilla. Wait a minute. And that now. a quesadilla. Uh, wait a minute now. Marshawn call it that. We was right at Taco Bell, and I couldn't even get no motherfucking quesadilla. <laughs> oh, he's a he got the sixty-eight point two. You right? I, 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 Marshawn was playing. I know, right? You that's true. That's true. That's true. The teacher says he was just that's playing. <laughs> certain certain little terms and words is just like, oh, so you weren't one of them kids in class? Oh, okay. Mm. You the one that got the extra thirty minutes on your test. Mm. <laughs> if I if I could clearly see that, I'm not about to play with you. I'm not about to hurt your feelings nor mine. That might be your basement, your bottom floor. And I'm gonna take what she said as let's say metaphorically, right? Even though in some situations that is an actual thing. That okay, he might not be the brightest guy in the world, but you know, I can I can fix him. That's what she said. Yeah. I can fix him. And a lot of women do think that they can fix him. Yeah. Because she see maybe, I don't know, is it are y'all calling that potential? Or are y'all just taking what y'all know is good and hopefully y'all can build on that? Do I look like handy mandy? Some people are. But I guess that's a not, lot of women aren't. That's not my job. And anything else? Not my job. At all? And anything else? Not my job. And anything else? Not my job. And I feel sorry for the gentlemen that are out there that actually do have strong, honest potential. I don't, I personally just don't have time for it. So I gracefully have to bow out. I wanna take the bow it's like you know i know you mean good and everything like that but i'm cool i'm not a k michelle can't raise no man now i'm definitely not a ride or die been there done that and that's because you've had previous experiences that led you to that now let's say if you ran into the guy that you were actually willing to be that for and it lines up but now you're not going to do that because you allow your past experiences to to like put a wall around that. I guess it's sex to be me. Because whenever people use love languages, they use it as an excuse. Ooh. Especially people who get poor treatment or they give poor treatment and they try to assign the love language that they have or the love language that somebody mm. else has. That's an excuse, which is the reason why I never talk about love language. This is why I call her complicated kitty. Because She'll say some stuff that'll be all kind of out there, and then she'll bring it back with another point. And that's usually how a lot of good people with good information are. All their information isn't always on point. I just need it to be 68.2% or more. That's all. Like the whole love language thing, that's something that they just threw into the... That's, that's something new, new age, mm -hmm. right? And people were using that wrong. I can understand the nature of it, but a lot of people don't know where love languages come from. Now it's a part of all the social questions in asking a relationship. What's, what's your sign? What's your love language? People want to know that now. No different than that stuff that y'all talking about this uh, emotional intelligence. That's new. Like, how, how, how y'all don't know how to regulate y'all emotions as adults? Like, 
no sis no sis you got to get those emotions in check because you're a grown ass woman you're an adult and you should be able to control your behavior I swear we didn't learn that as kids those who can't are children okay so if you're a grown woman and you don't know how to control your emotions it's giving child oh you want to know why because do and never gave you boundaries as a kid as a kid and now you don't know how to act as an adult so now you need some fancy words and a bunch of terms to explain your bad behavior right. did you have your father in your life i did oh, oh but he was doing his his thing they were both together but they were doing their own thing but still that yeah mm -hmm. okay Make a sense. Yeah, but see, and just because you have a father in your life don't mean that he was a good father. Mm -hmm. But what I will say is, even if he wasn't a good, the best of fathers, you still got to see some things that you would not have seen if he not if wasn't there. There is some things that you learn by having a father around all the time when you wake up in the morning. And he there, very whether he, true. Whether he on yeah. shenanigans or not, sometimes there is very, some very things true. that. That's, that builds that infrastructure. Very true. But unfortunately, I personally, I can only speak for myself, I can't get ahead because I'm always told that, um, oh, you're too this and you're too that by a man. And it's like, damn, okay. Because my daddy told me to get it as by any means necessary. <laughs> You work hard, you, you get what you get, yada, yada, yada. When it comes to dealing with somebody on a personal level, if they can't do nothing for you, you can't, don't do nothing for them. It's a give or take type of game. Did you grow up with your father, Clarissa? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I had a stepdad. Yeah. 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 So you grew up with a male figure in the house as well? Yes. And do you think that that's a big significant difference good bad or indifferent yes i couldn't do a lot of things that my peers was doing because i had a father right he, and he was it wasn't like he was strict like my my dad like i could have him wrapped around my finger like whatever i wanted he would give but it's like i never wanted to disappoint him so i always monitored and watched what i did and how i moved so I think it's a big difference having a father in the home. Right. And then if you don't have that as an adult, you don't have a clue what it's like to experience those things. So now you mm -hmm. have to find some kind of term so it can make sense in your mind so you can kind of navigate your way through your emotions because you don't know why you're feeling the way you're feeling. All you do is feel the 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 angst of not having it or not knowing to what it's like to even see that or you see other people have that and you want that you know and so consequently as adults you don't know but it's not in these new age terms that we're assigning we need to go back and watch what worked already and work off that not some not not some love languages and not some emotional intelligence and I'm, not saying you shouldn't, so I'm not saying you shouldn't regulate your emotions, but I'm saying you don't need no you don't need no uh, DSM format to understand your emotions. Nothing you will ever find of me talking about love languages for that reason, because it's a way for people to escape certain things. I so agree. love language is the new zodiac. Like, man, you just quit. quit yeah, no, like, I, love, I like giving gifts. Oh, it's because I'm a Scorpio. Like yeah, so, it's like it. you know what I'm saying? Like is, is love language the new zodiac? So 